Okay, so we've got our titles linking to our posts. It would be nice if we can get our post titles to link all the way back to the blog. So let's see how to do that. First thing we need to do is to grab the link out of the feed and stuff it into the object that we're using for templating. So all we need to do is set up a URL field and grab the link element from the feed. Now we can use that in our template and the easiest thing we could do is just set up an href here. And if we do that, we will have a link to our blog. So let's look at that. Problem is, is that we don't have any way of getting back to the app. So on just a normal website, one way to do it is to set a target. So it's a blank. So what will that, that will do is give us a link that opens up a new tab. And so we can get back to the app by closing the tab. And that's great inside the browser, but it's not gonna work in our emulators. So what Cordova gives us is a plugin called In-App Browser. And what that is, is a way to set up links so that they bring up another screen with a browser on it that has a back button uh, so to get back to the app. And here's how we do it. So we need to install the plugin. So we do that with the Cordova command line. Cordova plugin add, and then the name of the plugin is app browser. And that'll install it into our project. What that does is hook into window.open. So now what we can do is add an on-click event to the href and call window.open. And we need to pass that our URL and a target. And when it's set to blank, that's when the in-app browser will come up. And then we can also give some options. And one that we definitely need is setting the, that we want a location bar, because that's how we actually get back to our app. And since we don't want the normal processing of the link to happen, we have to return false. So let's see that in the emulator. So now here's our feed, and here's our link, and it's an in-app browser. It acts just like normal Safari browser. I can play this video if I want, and when I'm done, I can use the location bar in the bottom to get back to the app.